I never really listened to Led Zeppelin actually that much. It always t- I always thought it turned all my friends into devil worshippers. <laughs> Sadly enough, I mean, they were, they were one of the most abused classic rock bands in the radio because they, they play this, their same songs over and over and they don't give you a, uh, an overview of, of their entire uh, body of work, which is immense and great, as everybody knows. I haven't listened to Zeppelin in a long time, and then, I mean, I was the biggest fan of them for five years and it just didn't seem real, because I idolized them, you know what I mean? It's like I had a certain picture of Led Zeppelin, and then, like, they asked us to be on the tribute album, and it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> the Led Zeppelin version is very loose. I mean, but right now, the production and stuff is very, like, sloppy in a lot of ways, but it had a magic to it. And um, we felt like we could shape it a little bit more. The thing that turned me on to Led Zeppelin more than anything was uh, probably John Bonham initially because I started listening to Led Zeppelin right about the time I started playing the drums and I always wanted to do the little triplet feel thing that he does on the kick drum. Zeppelin 3 just blew my mind, man. I, You know, I went from listening to the Bee Gees to, to hearing Zeppelin 3 and it just opened up a whole world for <laughs> I did. I've always wanted to butcher a good Zeppelin song. You know, yesterday was Jimmy Page's birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, James. Happy Wherever birthday. you are. When it came time to do Led Zeppelin 2, they were on the road. They were scattered about. I mean, the tapes they started working on in England, and they brought them over to the States and they asked me to sort of take over the project and finish it up for them. It was only 8-track in those days, so you can imagine, you know, trying to record Led Zeppelin on 8-track. I mean, I, I think the records kind of speak for themselves, but we mixed the entire album in two days, from start to finish. It's nice recording somebody else's song because you, you have a guide, you know, to start off with. You've got something that this is what we're going for. We're going for this or, or a similar rendition, rather than, you know, you have, you have a point of reference, I guess, whereas when you do your own material, you can sit around all day long trying to pick the thing apart, trying to get it perfect. With this, you have a reference point. You can say, okay, it sounds like this, or it sounds enough like this. 